You are listening to ChartingWealth.com's comprehensive review and forecast for the week beginning Tuesday, the 4th of September 2018 for our European, well, our friends from all over the planet that are not in the United States. We have Labor Day. It's a holiday here in the U.S. Markets are closed on Monday, so we won't have anything to bring you Monday afternoon. We're just bringing the comprehensive review and forecast so you can maybe spend a little extra time studying the markets and getting ready. If you've not purchased our book, remember, we're sending out over this holiday weekend to all of our book purchasers. We are sending the short chart training that we have. If you're interested in being able to learn how to read short charts, like the two-hour chart, if you want to do some shorter chart practice, We've got a great training for you. Everyone who purchases the book will receive it. If you've already purchased the book, you don't have to buy it again. You'll be getting it. If you've not, you need to buy it this weekend. And if you are out of the country, the kind of software that we have doesn't allow you to actually pay there. Let us know. We've got instructions we'll send you on how you can pay and receive your book overseas. We will just just email us, chartingwealth1 at gmail.com. And again, thank you, friends, for supporting us. We worked hard on this book for many years. Got a lot of feedback from you guys along the way, and we've got it here, and it explains everything we do. Let's jump into these charts. We see stocks are mixed for the day, bonds and gold down. Let's look at the S&P 500. And of course, we always start not on the two-day, but on the weekly chart. We have another up candle, second week in a row after five weeks of strong up movement and one bit of a pullback on that week ending the 17th of August. What do we see going on? Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum, price percent oscillator heading up. That looks nice. What do we see on the two-day chart? Well, we see that the first day of this latest two-day candle is a bit of a pullback, a little bit. It's not a solid red, but it is a red open box. It's just the first day, so we'll see. It was a down day on Friday, so we'll see how things start with the new week. Price percent oscillator still heading up. Derivative oscillator gaining momentum. We see that price is still above the weekly and the two-day. Now, let's take a look at what we see on our four-hour chart. Well, see the four-hour chart down in the morning and in the afternoon, and we had a verified crossover going down in the afternoon. We've warned you about this potentially happening. Doesn't hurt to pull the plug. Those of you who got concerned about it and pulled the plug after the morning session, not a problem. If that's what you did, we can wait to see if there's a rotation back over going up, and if there is, you can jump in again. Otherwise, you locked in a very hefty profit at you got would have gotten out. Again, Heiken Ashi candlesticks are not the best at really looking at the actual price when you're getting out, but somewhere around 290. And of course, you jumped in on that four-hour chart somewhere around 284, 285. So $4 in a couple of weeks, not bad, not bad at all. You can thank your lucky stars for that wonderful wonderful virtual trade. And again, that's how things work on one of our two methods. This was the one where both the charts going in one direction. That is the medium chart and the long chart. You wait for a pullback on the four-hour chart, the short chart, and then you jump in when it rotates back over, going in the same direction as the larger charts. Now, let's go to the cues. What do we see going on there? End of the week with an up candle. We go from the, and we see that the Price percent oscillators heading up and the derivative oscillators gaining momentum. We go to the two-day chart. What do we see there? Well, we've got basically five candles of up movement. This is just the first day of the latest two-day candle, but both of them are actually the, the, the two current candles are both above the Bollinger Bands. Price percent oscillators slowed down a little bit. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. Go to that four-hour chart. What do we see? We're waiting for that pullback, and we might be about to get it. Looks like things are topping out right now. The market could be resting, could be getting ready to move over, so we'll watch and see how the new week starts out. We've seen the derivative oscillator losing energy for quite a while, for two days, actually two and a half days. So we'll keep our eye on things. Don't have any trade at the time. We haven't had the pullback yet on, on the four-hour on the queues. What do we see on 20-year bonds? Well, we had two prior weeks of strong up movement. 
This week ended with a red spinning top, means indecision tending down, price percent oscillators flat, derivative oscillator up a little bit, but tiny. So again, perhaps after these two weeks of up movement, that is ending, haven't had a crossover yet. So we still have the weekly chart in a confirmed up movement. What do we see on the two day? Hasn't crossed over yet. Derivative oscillator losing momentum, price percent oscillator heading down, but a green spinning top so far. Indecision tending up. We'll see how that plays out on Tuesday when that candle closes. We go to the four hour chart. What do we see there? Up in the morning, bit of a pullback in the afternoon. Uh, derivative oscillator gaining, I'm sorry, losing downward momentum, price percent oscillator heading down. So we'll just wait and see how things shake out. If we do have a crossover going up on the four hour chart, we are primed currently on the two day and the weekly to get in. So we'll just wait and see what we see if and when it happens. Remember, we're trend followers. So we go to our last chart. That is gold down for the day 0.11%. Gold after many, many, many weeks of down, of down movement. We're now into our second week of sum up movement, a green spinning top indecision tending up. The price percent oscillator still heading down, actually. Derivative oscillator losing downward momentum. Uh, we don't have any kind of crossover here. And price stopped right there at the two at the weekly trend line, which is curious and interesting. What do we see on the two-day chart? Well, it crossed over going up back on the two-day candle ending the 24th of August, and it's really been flat for the last five days, tending down. Price percent oscillator gaining momentum, derivative oscillator heading up, but we just look at price movement on our Heiken Ashi candlesticks, still hovering right above the two-day, and we see that crossing the two-day and the weekly, weekly down, two-day up. We'll just keep watching, see if things change. Don't have a trade yet. What's going on on that four-hour chart? Ended the day crossing over, going down. Very interesting. We'll continue to watch and see what we see. Price movement is still above that two-day trend line. Now, if we get a crossover going down on the two-day, we might be setting ourselves up for some kind of continued down movement. We'll continue to watch over the course of the week. Buy our book over the weekend. Get that special training. We have links to how you can buy the book and all the show notes. You can find it in at our YouTube channel and our show notes at the chartingwealth.com channel and also in our iTunes show notes or whatever your favorite podcast is. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.